Jestem czwarty. Hi, Sheriff. W owszej skórze. Hi, Narissa. Big Bull. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. If I came by. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Właśnie widać. Kaszel palacza. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what was that back there with Crane? Wanted you to tell me something. You know, it's not too late to talk. Yeah. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. O co z tym głównym chodzi? I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hm? Do you? It was. It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? You mind if I just... No! What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. 
don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... Came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Yeah. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. What are you worried about? Just please don't say anything. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. God damn it. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. <laughs> what did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The yeah. magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Yeah. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, mm. you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. <gasps> Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Ten jest pijany, się czuję. Bl. Nie lubię czuć się pijany. Once upon a time. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me, said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? I'm scum. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Mm. Mm. Nie ciekawie. 
Yes, I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. Mm. Talk about Not living in the past. Mm. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll Still can happen. later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. <laughs> I gotta say, your place, it looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man. I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Well, she went. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If... If you can't give us certain... assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. And tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Like drink, drink. Pick up. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> hey, and we can't come here. to the phone right should... now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. <laughs> I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Best keto. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Did you ever see the Crooked Man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. 
She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Yeah. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No, probably not. <laughs> so, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Dzięki za oglądanie. Pamiętajcie, że to się skończyło, to zresztą mogę starszyni na razie szkołam was. Bye!